Hey guys, sorry, I've been crying a little bit. I just decided to kind of get you guys a little update about everything. Um, I made a video recently, but it, my computer, I don't know what's wrong with it. Anyway, I'll make this short and sweet, and hence why I'm crying. <laughs> so, we found out the treatment for my husband was hepatitis. And it's a really super expensive treatment that luckily he qualifies for to be able to get at no cost to us. And so we'll be saving about $84,000 there. Um, the bad news with it is that we're waiting till October to see if the FDA passes a new treatment that does not involve the peg interferon and the ribavirin, which are parts of the treatment now, along with the pill called Sovaldi, Sofalsevir, and that's a pill that's supposed to be 90% guaranteed to cure hep C, but you also have to take it with the ribavirin and the peg interferon, which the peg interferon and the ribavirin make you really ill, almost as if you were doing chemo, and therefore that's our doctor recommended we waited until October to see if the FDA passes the new Hep C treatment, which does not involve, like I said, the pig interferon and the ribavirin. Um, so, because if he does end up doing the pig interferon and the ribavirin, we would not be able to get pregnant or at least try to get pregnant for a year. So, that sucks because I already can't get pregnant and is a huge blow to me. I'm going to be 30 this year, so it's difficult. Uh, along with that, just a bunch of other, and I'm going to say it, shit's just been happening. My husband's place of work caught fire thanks to a drunk, careless human being. He, His store where he works, is, um, and he's a baker, there's apartments above of the, the building where he works. And this careless individual decided to get wasted and leave either a cigarette or they say his gr oh his grill. Who grills at three o'clock in the frickin' morning? No one. And he must have fallen asleep and the whole place caught fire which damaged the downstairs. So my husband's out of work right now. He was working with his boss's husband doing tile. However, he hasn't been working for last week or this week, so for two weeks now. And he's baking and everything and selling bread to people we know, but it's not bringing the capital that he was bringing when he was working. So we're really struggling with that. And, you know, I just feel like... If it's not one thing, it's the other. I can't have babies. My husband has hepatitis C. His place of work catches fire, so we're having to struggle now because we ate through all our savings. I am incredibly st stressed. I think I've been dealing okay with it, you guys, but I think today, for some reason, I just I couldn't handle it. I just kind of... I don't know. And then I started school in August 25th, and then I ended up getting a little part-time job, which unfortunately they're so disorganized that right now they don't have much work because their system, their computer systems are crappy, and they're disorganized and lazy people. And, you know, today I didn't even go to work. I just, I stayed home because I called the guy, he didn't even answer, and... I just thought, well, you know, if they're not that busy, I'm not going in. And tomorrow I can't go in because I have school all day. So I'm just really frustrated. I'm really upset. I feel that I know these are tribulations that I have to go through to learn something. But holy damn, I am overwhelmed. And I told my husband, I said, well... The only thing I can think of doing is possibly you going to Vegas and looking for work there, because there's not much work here for him. And that would mean me not seeing him for a really long time. 
because I can't go with him because I have school and I can't go. It's just really difficult because I know we have to pay our bills and that's if that's the necessary thing to do then we'll do it. I'm just stressed to the max and I don't know, I just I've tried not to stress and I go to my therapy and I try to not stress over the stupidest things because they're just things, right? But they're everyday things that we have to pay and we have to pay our rent and our, you know, I just feel like it's just so frustrating, you guys, and I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what I'm going through because on top of not being able to have a baby right now, it's just, like, it's almost weird because it's not ever on my mind, and today it just kind of hit me that I still don't have a baby, and I'm probably not going to be able to have a baby for a while, and it's really sad. I mean, I guess it's a good thing I don't have one right now, right? Because of all this crap going on. But it kind of does get to me because I deserve it. I just have to stay strong, you guys. I just have to see this through. So, I just kind of wanted to let you guys know what's up and why I haven't made videos. I've just been super out of it. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I'll try to make a positive video next time. I'll try. Um, sorry I'm crying. It's ridiculous. Um, again, thank you for watching. And I hope that every single one of you has a lot of luck. And being mommies and daddies and I hope that your wishes come true just as much as I want mine to come true. I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks. Bye.